All right, man, it's Cash Pad Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be talking about Stephen A. Smith and his comments about Trump. And um, yeah, we'll be back. Like, share, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. Hey Amen. Links is right on the page if you want to donate to the sketch pad. Right there. Cash app, PayPal, all that link. If you can't donate, it is what it is, man. But look, we almost at twelve thousand subscribers. Help us get there. We're trying to reach a million before the year is out, and we can do it. Look, Stephen A. Smith. Has some things to say about Trump. We're going to listen to him, then we're going to talk about it. Here we go. According to Henninger, the newest buzzword in politics is lawfare, or using the legal system as a weapon against a political opponent. Henninger questions how many lawsuits, court motions, and judgments against Donald Trump the Democratic Party can actually chow down on. He also ponders about the high price the American system may pay for all of this in excess. Let me tell you something, it was a great opinion piece. I completely agree with Daniel Henninger of the Wall Street Journal, the opinion piece that he wrote in there, because we've got to get to a point where we're saying when's enough's enough. Donald Trump made a very salient point. I know you don't hear me say that often, but it's true. He made a very salient point a couple of weeks ago or I think it was in the immediate aftermath of Super Tuesday when he was talking about President Biden and he was saying, you know, come beat me. Stop trying to use the legal system in order to pull it off. Now, obviously, President Biden would say he has nothing to do with me. He's the president of the United States. He's not the prosecution in uh, Georgia. He's not the prosecutor in New York. Okay, he has nothing to do with those things. So he may say, maybe it's true. But I find it very, very difficult to believe that everybody on the Democratic side is innocent. I mean, when you look at the inordinate amount of charges that are coming Trump's way, I mean, when is enough enough? Ladies and gentlemen, there's so much to get into. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to simply say this. Trump is kicking the Democrats, you know what. And you still, we're still waiting for him to go to jail. We're still waiting for him because supposedly he's done so much. Russian collusion, remember all of that? We're still waiting for the we're still waiting for the guilty verdict. We're still waiting for him to be incarcerated. We're still waiting for him to be seen in zebra stripes. You can't touch him. And now he's thrown this salvo. He said, "Yo, why don't you come beat me? Stop engaging in lawfare and using the legal system to push your political agenda. Come beat me." That's what he did. This is this, I do sports most of the time. That's the kind of language we want to hear, ain't it? Can you beat him or not? You gonna beat him? Four different polls show that Joe Biden is trailing, that Trump is gaining momentum. You can look at the right and talk about their commitment to Biden's cognitive decline narrative. The fact of the matter is, in half of America's eyes, Trump is seen as damn near criminal. And he's still collecting more campaign dollars and more votes. This article is a very profound one. The higher price of Democrats' anti-Trump lawfare. Because when the legal system is utilized this way and people see you getting away with trying to cause all of this ruckus towards him as opposed to simply beating him at the polls, that gives them additional fodder to question the legal system. And once they do that, it gives them a significant license to be lawless and to engage in lawlessness, which will explain some of the mayhem and the nonsense we've been seeing in the streets of America that would have never been tolerated, even as late and as recently as Barack Obama being in office, or George W. Bush for that matter, or Bill Clinton for that matter. The nonsense that we're seeing in the streets today easily could be attributed to a level of lawlessness that people don't care about committing 
because they're seeing our politicians manipulate the system in such a way that they don't like it because it reminds them of things they've always felt about our government to begin with. Which is, by the way, what makes Trump sound like he had a lot of sense when he was comparing himself to the plight of black folks, even though we know better. Anybody black knows that ain't a problem Trump had. But he talked about being a victim. He talked about the system being rigged against him. He talked about the powers that be wielding and influencing a level of power just to make him uncomfortable for their own bidding as opposed to it being legitimate. All right, man. Stephen A. Smith, man. Um, it's a couple of things I want to say that uh, I totally agree with with at least 90 percent of what he said. Um, I think that I think that the Democrats have painted themselves into a corner and they're going to push this until to the end because they have no ways. They have no means of winning. Like you got you got Democrats wanting to vote for Trump now because of this. So. What kills me about them, excuse me, is they're under the impression that people care about him being found guilty. That's going to make him even more powerful. That's what they don't understand. Him being found guilty, you think that that's going to stop him? It's not. And what is what? People are going to look at it like, what, what is he being found guilty of? That's basically what everybody's going to say. They're going to be like, what is he being found guilty of? Like, how is he guilty? You know, some people are going to say, well, he's guilty of this and that. But what they do is they throw a bunch of straw man arguments when it comes to these type of things. So they'll throw them all in there. And they'll be like, oh, he invaded taxes. Oh, January 6th. Oh, uh, uh, Stormy Daniels. Or like he'll, they'll say all this stuff, but he, but that stuff has nothing to do with none of, the, none of it. But they'll just say that. He did. And, and then when you explain it to him, no, he guilty. He guilty. Be like, is he really? So what he's saying is absolutely correct. Trump's like, look, why are you going after me through the justice system? Y'all all corrupt. Y'all all crooked. Won't you just beat me? Just beat, just beat me. Beat me about the votes. Because you know they can't. And they know they can't. That's why they're doing what they do. They can't. But he's right. Well, first of all, I didn't even know Stephen A. Smith talked politics. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, talk, I didn't know he talked politics until I seen this video. Um, He has a point. Beat him and you want to be declared the real winner. Beat him at the political game. Don't beat him at... Uh, by using the, the justice system because the justice system messed up too. You know what I mean? We all seen we all seen what's going on with the justice system nowadays. So is it really is he really winning? Like and they say that they just, you know, fabricating and adjusting numbers on their own. Is he really ahead? Like come on, like, you know. I don't think he's really doing some tampering. Be honest, because if they did it, if they did it once already, what's to stop him to do it again? Especially since they don't want him back in office. I don't know. Hmm. But yeah, cool. I agree with Stephen A. All right, man, Sketchpad, we out of here, man. See y'all, peace, bye.